Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Trisha and I'm an, um, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in Scotland. For those of you that are new to my channel, thank you so much for um, subscribing and hopping on. Um, I do know that I gained um, a handful of new subbies um, after the recent two blog hops that I um, took part in. So thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. Now, this is my website address where you will find the link to my Stampin' Up! shop. If you go to smithscraftcreations.com, shop now up in the top menu bar, you can purchase all the products used today. So, oh, don't forget, I do offer customer reward vouchers as well. And you will get a free gift. And um, if you use my hostess code, um, which is also on my shop now page on my website, um, you will earn some free products from me. So... We're not talking stamp sets here. Um, business isn't big enough for that, I'm afraid. <laughs> I wish it was, I wish it was. But I, will, I do um, like to give some um, gifts to customers. So, this um, is Sunday special project. Um, what number are we on? We are on number... Number 17, which is Sunday the 5th of April already. Which means this is the last day in the tax year as well. Um, so, let's get on. So, first of all, um, I just want to thank my teammate Natalie for sending me um, a, a card kit that was um, meant to be for our um, team retreat last weekend that had to be cancelled in Telford. Um, and she has sent us, she sent um, Thick Whisper White cardstock with some pool party um, off cuts and a layer of a reversed side of the Tropical Oasis DSP. Um, now it was quite a fancy card um, and to be honest um, when I looked at the instructions uh, I couldn't visualise it in my head but then I saw the picture that um, was shared on our page and I thought, oh, that's really lovely, but I want to put my own um, style to it. So I've completely changed the card and the, um, I'm now going to do an acetate, um, an acetate card. So thank you so much for the supplies of the card stock, honey. So Natalie very kindly cut out some layers of Whisper White and the Pool Party. Okay, so I'm just going to remove these just now. Now I have prepped the card, so let me explain what I'm going to do. Basically, we had a A5 folded in half, half card base. I have trimmed it, um, the front off and left an inch strip at the top. Um, I also cut a piece off for an inch strip at the bottom. Okay, and all I'm going to do is I have cut the same size of the card in a piece of our beautiful window sheet. So I'm going to attach it to there and then we're going to attach the bottom on it, okay? Now we are going to cover over where these uh, the acetate is stuck on to the cardstock. Okay, let me pop that to the side for a second. Make sure you, you don't have any residue in your fingers and leave fingerprint marks all over your acetate. Now I need to put this somewhere that I can see it. I'll put it on my mouse mat there. Right, so for this, um, I am going to use... You know what I haven't... You know what I can't find? I don't know. Oh, yeah, there it is. I was going to say I can't find my um, tearing tape, but I've just spotted it. I've just spotted it in the place where it always is, so I do apologise. Okay, so here it's here. Oh, I need to order some more. If you don't have um, our Stampin' Up! Tearing Tape, use any double-sided tape that you have in stock. That's absolutely fantastic. Right, so you could cut this down to whatever, okay? But the width um, is going to be a tenfold card and the width is four and one-eighth of an inch, okay? If that helps, by five and seven-eighths roughly. Okay, so what I want to do, I want to attach the vellum onto the top first. Okay, so I'm just going to open the card up. 
and then I'll show you what fabulous um, new stamp set that I'm going to use with it. Okay, so I'm just putting them on. I'm just going to burnish it, make sure they're stuck down. I really every time I put a big order away, I always end up using something else that I didn't realise I was running low of. I'm going to have to start writing a list. Oh, let me show you my new journaling pen from Stampin' Up. Can you see that? Fine tip. Absolutely awesome. Waterproof, fade resistant. Love it. So I've been writing little notes with that. And because it's fine tip, you, you can't lean too much on it. Let me get my pokey tool. For those of you that don't know what this is, this is our... Um, Oh, God, I forgot what it's called. This is one of our special tools. Oh, someone shout out at me. Every day that I use it, I do mention what, it, what it's called. Um, and I've just forgotten. Oh, my. I'm I terrible. Right, what I want to do first is I want to level up the acetate with the rest of the card on the front. Then I'm going to position like so. Now you'll see that you can see the uh, the tape under there. That is why we're going to put a top layer. And it will stand like so. Okay. So, second stage is we put the white strip on the bottom half. And then you're not going to see anything attached. So this one's on the bottom half and this one's on the bottom. Okay, pokey tool. This is... Oh, take your pick tool, there we go. There we go, everybody. It's called take your pick tool. Right, <laughs> we got there. We got there. I've already... Um, obviously, I've got all my elements to this card pre-cut. Okay, um, just to try and save some time. So I will try and jolly on with it without too much distraction hopefully um, I've not long finished well I'm recording this on Friday because um, I thought I want to get ahead and with it being Friday I am most definitely going to have a cheeky wine tonight so okay what you need to do is attach this let's see if um, I've got something black there. So I'm just going to attach this straight as I can along the bottom. Okay, so now you can see both sets of tear and tape poking through there, showing through there, sorry. All right, so the next step is we're going to add the layers. Okay, so we have the pool party layer for top and bottom, like so. So all we need to do now is stick that on. And again, I'm using the tearing tape because it is sticking onto vellum. Not vellum, acetate or window sheets. Hope I'm staying in shot here, everyone. Okay, so there's one and there's two. When I'm applying the DSP layer, on top of these, I will use wet glue and then that gives me a little bit of room for manoeuvre to get the layer adhered down spot on as possible. I hope everyone's had a good week. can't believe it's... Well, I'm, I'm, I'm excited because it's actually Friday right now, but by the time we're chatting on this, um, it will be Sunday night and everybody will be get ready, getting ready for the dreaded Monday morning albeit most of us are actually at home. So, feels almost strange seeing TFI Friday or Dreaded Monday because everything's just so different just now. But you know what's been really nice out of all of this is kind of going back to basics in terms of um, spending time with the kids. Now, I've popped that on quite squint. Now, because it's on acetate, I'll be able to peel it off, she says. 
I will let me do this off screen. Don't want you to see me being harshy with it. Right, so make sure you, the bottom layer is covered, okay? That bottom bit of white card layer. There we go. Yeah, so I was saying, it's really good. I've got a slight overlap here, so I'm just going to trim that off. Because we've all went back to basics. Children are, well, most of us are um, at home with our children. Um, I really do feel for the frontline workers out there. But the other other non-essential services, we're all working at home, spending time with our children, going back to basics such as teaching them how to cook, doing homework together more often. I'm just adding these layers on as I'm chatting. It's uh, not directional. So I'm just going to pop these on. And it really does remind me, I'm really being squint today. I'm not having a very good day, to be honest. I always really, really struggle on a Friday. Um, even though I'm not travelling and what have you, because I'm working at home, it's, I, I still struggle with my ME. But I still push through. I do, I do try and pace myself more now. I have no choice, really. Yeah, so I was saying, um, yeah, we're all going back to basics, going back to jigs doing jigsaw puzzles. Can you see the effect now? Look, this is how it's going to look. Look at these. So I, I am making the most of it, to be honest. I'm not sure how many weeks or months we are going to be um, stuck like this, but I am making the most of it. and I love spending time with my kids. Right, so... The stamp scent that I'm going to use, and I thought this sentiment was very fitting, sending healing hugs. Okay, so there's quite a few sentiments in this set. Um, I really like this one, but I didn't want to use it on this card. However, I have stamped it in a pool party on a bit of um, rectangle a stitch shape die section. Isn't that very pretty? So I just wanted to show you that. It's really, really beautiful font. I love script writing. But today we're going to use the Sending Healing Hugs and then this one for you. Now this is a so sentimental bundle that I purchased so what I'm doing is I'm using a pool party layer, label like so, and I'm using the one that fits right inside it in Whisper White. Okay, let me quickly show you the dies to show you what I mean. There's also a scallop shape rectangles which are stitch effect as well so I've used the largest of the two here but you see all these shapes do fit one or more of these stamp sets so it's quite a versatile set I like this this one calls for confetti and I know a few people will use that for making shaker cards and stuff so it's really good and I like this little background um, stamp that we can use to make a background sorry you know when I do um, stamp your own background videos I would use that to fill in the smaller gaps so that's very pretty but this is what I, I bought the bundle for mainly because I love the labels in this and I thought you can get a really fancy looking card with little effort as possible so what we're doing today is I have cut out two sets okay so what I want to concentrate on first is attaching um, the sentiment to the inside, sorry. I'm going to do it like that, okay? Isn't that pretty? And what I'll do is I'm going to, st I'm going to stamp a sentiment on here and then when we open it up, there's going to be a sentiment on the inside as well on this second shape, like so, okay? So that's the plan. So first things first is to get this positioned where I want it and then stick it down. So I want to get it as centred, as um, best as possible, given the funny angle that I'm sitting at. Right, so I think that is about right there. Okay, so I need to open the card up. Okay, I'm going to add glue 
you could mark it with a pencil and then go around it, but I'm just going to um, add a bit of glue there. Oh, be making sure you don't move it. Let me see, is that still centered? Yes, it is. Okay, give that a second. If you're lifting it, push it down so that it does not move. Just bear that in mind if you're using wet glue. Okay, so this is going to be stuck on here. Um, you know what I think I'll do actually? So that I don't have to double layer here, I will actually just stamp that. Stamp and attach it in the inside, right? So let's do that first, okay? So I have my stamp here, sending healing hugs. If I don't stamp it straight first time round, I will simply flip it over. Now I want to get a lot of ink from all areas of my pad. This is one that now needs um, re-inked. Okay, so if your pad is running out and you don't have the refill ink yet, maybe you could use your stamparatus. I'm just going to position this in the middle. Use your stamparatus and um, stamp over as many times as you need to get that dark colour. I'm liking that. Sending healing hugs. Adorable. Right, I just have my Simply Chamois to the side for a quick clean. Save time. Okay. Let's pop this back. You'll see this is a red rubber cling stamp set and there's 11 in here. So look at all these fabulous ones. Thank you for you. Two from Baby, Yeah, Malicious, Healing Hugs, Friendship and Wishing You Happiness, which could double up in a wedding card as well. Right, so I am going to pop that in there with wet glue. I am not putting any ribbon on here, on this card. I think it's going to be enough in itself. Little hair, little eyelash sticking to my card there. Isn't that amazing? So, is that squint? I think it's slightly off, but um, only a crafter would notice that. Right, so the next thing I want to do is I have used the one of my um, beginner stamp sets from the beginner stamping brochure, um, namely Magnolia Blooms, which is a short and sweet stamp set. And I've used, no, I haven't used that one. I have used the full Magnolia one. I do apologise. Let me get it out. You could use either or, it doesn't matter. Or any stamp set with a floral image. I've used this Magnolia one here. And I've already stamped it. The only thing I need to do now is I need to actually fussy cut it out. So I have stamped four. Okay, so all I'll do is I will um, stick my fingers in the ink pad. See, should have shut that straight away, Trisha. Let me put that out the way. What I'll do is um, I will fussy cut these out. I will speed up the video, if I remember, when it comes to editing it. So if it goes silent and not fast, you'll know that I've forgotten. Okay, I have fussy cut out three and a three quarter because this one has a, a little bit that's stamped off of the paper. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to attach these 
on the front of the card, really nice and easy and simple. And this is just going to make the card look amazing. Right, so top left, bottom right corner. Let's do this. Right, I want it at that angle, so I know roughly where to put my um, images. So make sure that's not overlapping with glue. Lovely. Pop this one on too. Da, 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 da. This is a beautiful paper. I haven't actually got this. Kind of wishing I had. I love it when you see how others um, use their DSP. Isn't that adorable? I do like that. Da, 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 da. Should I add a second one in there? No, I think it's a bit much. It is a bit much. What I will do though is this last one. I am going to try and stick it under here. Okay, so if I marry that up like so. Okay, carefully lift like that. Is that sticking? We have the position. So again, I'm just going to Add some wet glue. Move it about a slight little bit until it marries up with this one. Perfect. Love that. Okay. So I'm happy that's glued down. I'm not too fussed that it's um, slightly not flush. I think it adds some... 3D effect. Don't touch your um, window sheet vellum um, acetate, sorry, once you have touched wet glue. It's not going to end well. Okay, so it says sending healing hugs. Now we're going to put a bit on the back. And I'm going to utilise what Natalie um, sent me, which is the pool party square layered section. Okay. Right, so, all I'm going to do um, and the, the whole purpose of this is so that people can write on the back of the card because we don't want writing shown through this wonderful window unless people wrote directly at the top and directly at the bottom. So I think it's easier to add a um, section on the back. Okay, now you could put this horizontal or portrait. I am going to add it on like so. Let me stand up. Is that straight? I think it's as straight as I'm going to get it anyway. So the front said, sending you, sending healing hugs. And I'm going to put... Um, for you on the back like so I'm going to put it in the right hand corner there I'll show you what I'm going to do I am going to grab I think I have pool party stamp and write marker this may be it that's Crystal Cabana that's Bermuda Bay no I don't but you know what I'm going to use this all I'm going to do is add three little dots with my stamp and write marker. It's amazing when these come in handy, even for three little dots. Um, and we'll do it like so. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. Now, I'm not going to add any Wink of Stella or anything to this project. I think it is nice and it's a monotone a forum that is itself I did um, think about adding you know the poppy set I had actually stamped the top half of the standing poppy well the the full size poppy I thought about maybe adding a couple of them on here 
Um, but I thought, no, I'll stick with what I um, planned in the first instance uh, because I'll just confuse all myself. So, um, thank you, Natalie, for your kit, which prompted me to make an acetate front card. Um, loving the colours that you chose, honey. And uh, this is my take on the wee project. So if you've been here chatting for half an hour, thank you so much. Um, my next project, if I don't break all my staffs, my next project will be tomorrow, which is Make It Monday. Um, and Make It Monday, I have got... What have I got? Oh, it's the Easter card. So, this was a Facebook Live that I am repeating over on YouTube for my Make It Monday. Mainly because um, some of the... A lot of the people on my YouTube aren't actually on Facebook. So we're making that tomorrow. Okay, so if you want to tune in for that, please do. If you've already seen it, um, you could always watch it again or you can just skip it. So, thank you everyone. Let me know if you like the, the card that I've made today in the comments below. Um, don't forget to like, comment and um, subscribe. And um, yeah, and I'll see you here again for another project. Thanks everyone and we'll speak soon. Stay safe everybody. Bye now.